All right, welcome to the Angler's Path. I am in Fort Smith, Montana, and I'm gonna be fishing the Bighorn River for the next six days. I flew in last night and checked into this awesome cabin here. This is the riverbed uh, angler cabin that I rented through the Bighorn Fly Shop in town, and uh, it overlooks this, this valley here uh, in the river. Actually, you can see the river uh, just through those trees there. So we'll be fishing the Bighorn River for the next next five or six days. I'm currently uh, waiting for Mike, Chris, and Carl to fly in. Uh, they're flying in from Pittsburgh today. They'll be here later this afternoon. And in the meantime, I've got some time to myself to uh, head down to the river and uh, catch that first fish. So let's go. Let's go get the first fish. <laughs> All right, I hiked downstream from the three mile access boat ramp. Uh, tie on that Pete's bugger and see how well that, that pattern works. First fish coming right up. Well, everything's coming together. Tied up the Pete's bugger, worked as expected. Couple strips, got Carl's net. First fish for the net, first fish for the trip. And I got myself a very nice bighorn rainbow. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> awesome fish, awesome first fish. Cottonwood graveyard here. That's one hungry beaver. <laughs> All right. I'm down here at Legoland. Miss you, Aaron. Wish you were here with me. I've been picking them up here. This is not a long fish, but this is a heavy, heavy football like buttered up brown trout. Look at that guy. Oh, he's just, he is just heavy. He's a heavy guy. Oh, nice, nice fish. Just hit it like a ton of bricks. Here we go. One last look at this guy. There he is. <laughs> and there he goes. Right, buddy how you been i've been good good carl mike welcome to the river bend angler cabin now there's a man who is confident confident in his own skin look at that bag i love it i want to see somebody in the airport make fun of you and your your luggage that's what i want to see too yeah All right, I just told Carl that we got him here 20 inches or so. <laughs> Put him in that net. Woo! First fish of the trip with Carl. 20 casts in. 20 casts in. There we go. Yes, well done. All right, it's always nice to catch fish on your last cast as it's getting dark. Another solid brown trout. All right, here we go. Good night. 
Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Beautiful sunrise here over the Bighorn Valley. Are you getting me in there? Yeah, I got you in there. <laughs> the other day yeah i was watching some fish and stuff and all up past the shows up yep he does <laughs> he is <laughs> let's go you paid for that yet i have not Pretty slow start so far this morning, uh, but Chris got one out of the boat, so he's on the board. And um, we've got our first stop. We're here at the meat hole. Um, Mike's rolled a few so far here at the meat hole. Hey, Mike. Yes, sir. So I want you to get first crack just going downstream from here, all the way around that bend right there. Well, that's awful nice of you. Yep. Well, he's got a little baby brown bugger on, and I'm still using a Pete's bugger. It proved effective yesterday, uh, but it's a beautiful morning, overcast, perfect streamer weather, um, no wind, uh, pretty much got the river to ourselves. So, uh, Mike, that was, I set you up, man. You like, you're, you're stripping right behind me and all you had to do was just hook, hook one up, man. That was, that's what the whole point of this video is for. Sorry. Chris has got a nice one on. We got we got a net man. Cole, are you gonna net this guy? That's a good fish. It's a very good fish. Gotta be edited. <laughs> no, you said I crushed it and it felt awesome, right? <laughs> That's, That's what, what I, I want you to say again. I, he crushed it and it felt great. <laughs> awesome. He's a football. Fish, Mike. Look, it's just tall. Nice, tall fish. Good stuff. Good. Is it on? Beautiful sunset here. Prince Nymph. <laughs> Carl was. A bomber rig, man. That's, awesome. oh, nice. That's a big. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> We're all over the place here. Mike's going to get him. There we go. Pull that up a little higher. There we go. Brilliant fish. Good job. This man here may not have netted a fish today, but he certainly did cook up one hell of a dinner. Deer steaks, chimichurri, 
salad. And that is Chef Chris White right there. Thank you, buddy. You're very welcome. I think that was a that was a noisy night sleep in this <laughs> creaky crankety cabin. I think we ought to give her a name. What do you think? What about what about the whistle house? <laughs> the whistle. <laughs> okay. There she is. The whistle house. She whistles. She whistles. She whistles. So we're uh, putting in at the three mile access here today. I'm gonna to float down to the Bighorn access point. That's a nine mile float. Today we're gonna to be floating in two boats. So we'll get a little bit more fishing, spread, spread out a little bit more and cover more ground today. Supposed to get really windy today, boys. 25 to 30 miles per hour. We're jumping in on the river here early this morning, about eight o'clock to try and get a head start on the wind. So, uh, new stretch of river, new stretch of fish. What do you say, Carl? Let's do it. Let's go get them. Nice fish, man. It's my net. <laughs> that fish went in it. It didn't need netted, but I felt like I needed a net of fish today. First fish of the day for us. Oh, Chris and I are paired up on a boat. Had to pull off on the uh, west side of the stream in order to get out of the wind. The wind is just wicked today. But uh, we're just gonna camp out here for a while. Good job, bud. Just going through the different color streamers today. I started with a little brown trout, then I switched over to a black sparkle minnow. But once I switched over to white, um, I, uh, I got this guy on the first cast, so. That's dust from the hillsides behind us. I mean, it is windy. All right, not the best day to learn how to row. 50 mile an hour winds coming up on the Bighorn Rapids, but we thought this would be a good chance to let Chris start rowing. We are literally getting blown upstream. We can't get downstream. No matter what we try, we just cannot get downstream. Well, we haven't gone 100 yards in five minutes, have we? <laughs> no, we've just been staying in the same spot. You're about to lose a hat, man. <laughs> Was uh, captain again. We seem to we seem to be getting on pretty good here. Hi there, Chris. Uh, very nice fish. That's a good, very nice fish. That's a very oh, no. hello there. That's a very good looking brown trout. Yeah, I'll find out eventually. 
This is the sunset we like to see here. That's a good fish, Chris. It's good fish. Nocturnal. That baby's taking you. You need me to take the boat downstream? No. You sure? I put up 40 feet of line and some backing. <laughs> That's a good fish. Bulldogging me, though. I don't know, maybe we quit chasing. Yeah, let's chase him. Pull up the anchor here. There he is. That is, that's a big one. Very nice. Yeah, we like that. Looking right here. Yeah, good fish. Very good fish. Hello there, buddy. Yeah. All right, let's get him back down in there. I don't normally make videos at night because the video quality is not good nor do we normally unload the van um, in the middle of the night. But it's sort of a necessity because, well, we've got a flat tire. <laughs> we found an air compressor. <laughs> Look at these jack wagons. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? <laughs> It'll be the same without a flat tire, right? Yeah. Hey, Carl. Yeah. Load it back up. <laughs> Designated rod holder. putting in this morning uh, at the Bighorn Access and since really nobody fishes this Bighorn to Mallard stretch very often we thought we'd just take our time and nymph and hit all these islands. Uh, There's about four islands uh, between here and the St. Xavier Bridge. Uh, we need to have a good day because we didn't really start off very well. Uh, I'd leaned one of Chris's rods up against the van and uh, when we shut the the side door, the rod slipped down into the into the door channel and dang it, I feel terrible about this. But hopefully if we can catch some fish today that are make a broken rod, blues go go away. There we go. Fingers on the right side of the fish, right? Yeah, you got it. Terrific. I was thinking that was a good spot. Another nice one. You gone? You gone. All right, that's number two. Chris is off to a good start. He's uh, he's in a honey hole here. <laughs> well, Chris, he's not quite trust. <laughs> Chris is not quite trusting me to net his fish, but he has asked me twice now to reattach his net <laughs> to his to his back. So uh, this is just a new way of defining your net, man. Thank you again, sir. You're welcome. All right, that's fish number three for 
Chris. This is a big fish. I'm going to have to actually net this one. Oh, he's on the... That's a big rainbow. Oh, I'm getting deep here. Oh, that barely fits in the net. Come on up this way, Chris. Oh, man. That is beautiful. You are in the honey hole right there. Oh, Chris. Beautiful fish. Beautiful net, turning out to be a beautiful day. Turn that baby right over the, towards me, yeah. Nice. Get a net measure on it. Oh, we'll get a net measure. <laughs> uh, that is 20, it's like right at 20, 20. right at 20. Good job. One more picture here. Push yeah, it the camera, there, right? push it towards the camera a little bit. <laughs> That's a good fish, Chris. Ah, oh, man. Uh, it doesn't replace a broken rod, but it makes you feel better, doesn't it? Absolutely. Good stuff. Let's put them back down in the water. Yeah, let's get that fish back to its home. See you later. Oh, Chris, buddy, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> we got ourselves a tall, fat, tall, fat brown. Oh, man got a lot of silver in them even. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, look how tall he is. Oh, put your head in there, Chris. Right in the hole. <laughs> right in the hole. <laughs> That's great. Good fish. Mm. Man, that is, that is a good fat fish. Look at that. Go. See you later, buddy. Mike, your ham is flapping in the wind. <laughs> what do we got here? Crawling ball keep. Holy cow, that ham Man, is not flapping in the wind. <laughs> all right, can we all get in the screen here? There we are. Mike, turn around. You're good there. Mike, put the wind to your back. Lunch break. Here, boys. Hey, you shooting the shoots, Polly. All right, Mike and Carl just threw their boat through this little run. That doesn't matter for, for Chris. Chris has got a nice fish on. We believe it's nice. We ran them all the way across this little channel. Chance we might have tailed them. What do you think? Oh, I think it sailed. Thanks yeah. So. Yep. Well, chuck your fly, you might have a piece of his tail on there. I might. It's always good to get some tail, you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice little fat rainbow. Took a Jason Hurst scud. Beautiful fish in a beautiful net. All my favorite colors. Blue net, a red rod, and a rainbow trout. I really like that. Thank you, Chris. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, these guys are catching fish, so I guess we're going to stay here for a while.
we're off to a better start than yesterday. By that, I mean you got a new rod instead of breaking a rod. It's going to be a long day because as you can see, it's windy, very windy. Despite all the wind, we got Chris into a nice fish here. Where's the net? You got a net? Oh, Andy. oh, we got a fat, buttered up brown trout. Chris just changed a new fly. I'll show you that here in a second. But that's a nice, good, nice looking fish. Well done, buddy. The ones we came for, right? Oh, that's it. All right, it's going towards me. There we go. Nice fish. Very good. We made it downstream just across from Jameson's Island. Uh, this is Mike and Carl's boat. So they, they got down here first. And there's Mike fishing. Let's see how these guys are doing. Mike, well done. Yep, bring them up out of there. All right, coming at me. There we go. Nice, good work. See you later, buddy. All right, Chris and I uh, pulled off here at what I like to call Lego Land. Uh, we're just going to give it one run through here. I'm gonna let Chris go down through here first. We're gonna cast midstream and slow strip back on the swing. I picked up two here the very first day I was here waiting for these guys to arrive, so it's worth a try. Yo, not much to brag home about. Never been skunked at Legoland. <laughs> eh, it's a fish. <laughs> Believe it or not, on a windy day such as today, Chris got one on a dry fly. Oh, that's such a good memory. <laughs> Excellent fish. There we go. Yeah, on a dry fly nonetheless. And you can hear the wind. <laughs> that there is a dry fly in a rainbow trout's mouth on the windiest day of the season. Chris gets himself a beautiful rainbow. Oh, well done, bud. Well done. They reopen. We're going to try and get a group photo here, boys. So, uh, Mike, go stand in. Mike, stand in between uh, Chris in the middle. There we go. All right, I think it's going to work just perfect. I didn't hear you. If you just talk, we don't listen when you just talk. Yeah. Take your glasses off or on? Glasses on. Glasses on. All right, thumbs up. This is what happens after the group photo. Mike gets lunch and a beer. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. And a couple rising fish. Oh, he's working a rising fish here. How many is that? Oh, it is? I've been sitting here waiting for them to start rising. Need a net man, sir? You want to redeem yourself? Nope, I'm sending Mike. Yourself, Mike. All right, the boys went downstream, and you'll down here, Mike. Get my screen. The boys went downstream, and uh, you guys did pretty well on nymphs, right? 
got four down there. Four, Mike got four. I sat in a boat, called my wife, watched some fish rising, and I said, honey, I don't mean to be a jerk, but I gotta go, there's fish rising right in front of me. Put the dry fly on. Oh, you let my net go, did you see that? It was floating down the, down the river. <laughs> and I got a, a very nice a scar on right there. brown trout on a dry fly. That's a dry fly right there. All right, one last shot of you, buddy. You're going back into your home. Today's our last day on the water, and uh, welcome to the table of gathering. It's sort of our hub for the week. This is where we make all of our important decisions, and of course, where an evening game of euchre takes place. So we're contemplating what to do today. I don't know if you can hear the whistle house um, singing her tunes or not, but uh, we've got some high forecasted winds for today. We're thinking we're gonna roll the dice and go with some boats from After Bay Dam down the three mile access. All right, so we're going through with this. Definitely got our boats. Uh, they're being put in the water up at After Bay right now. And Mike and I are running our shuttle down the three mile access. So we got a three mile float today. We're gonna to try and overcome the wind and the elements. Uh, those guys are up at After Bay now, uh, getting our stuff in the boat. Mike and I are running the shuttle. Hey, Mike. Hey, Augie. You notice something about this uh, parking lot? It's parking empty, lot? Augie. You know what that means? That means we're the only ones on the stream. Yeah, um, we might be the only idiots fishing today. Well, there are two more idiots that just put in in front of us. Okay. So. Well, perhaps we're gonna hit it just right today, Mike, because according to my playlist, we're listening to fish. Everything's right. So you know what that means. So just hold tight. <laughs> so we might we might have to hold tight with the wind the way <laughs> blowing at 60 miles an hour. Nick, this one's for you, buddy. I tied on a purple Charlie Special. So thank you, Mike Kudnick and Charlie Stevens for this fish. There's the fish. Nice brown trout. Fat. These guys are fat this year. Nice and fat. And there's the purple Charlie Special. How about that? Blast from the past. Celebrate the sacrament. The sacrament. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't have my flask open. I only have two hands. I'm still recording. <laughs> hey buddy, with 30 mile an hour sustained winds, we sure in the hell can't fish. We might as well have some sacrifice. That'll warm you up. take out for the trip. And that's a wrap on Bighorn 2021. Time for an afternoon nap. We're gonna get the heck out of this wind. See you next time. Thanks for watching the Angler's Path. This is how you stuff four adult, adult fly fishermen and all their gear into a Honda Civic, into a Hyundai Elantra. Oh, boy. <laughs> get your head in there! Get your head in there, boys. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> I'm stationary. I cannot move. <laughs>